about Joe's backstory, his history. So you're gonna find out what's been going on with the, with the camera that he's carrying around, the real purpose behind that, um, what's going on with him and Deb. It's gonna get deeper and more revealed. So uh, there's a lot coming up in this episode. Can we talk a little bit about the comment? Uh, is there stuff with the yes, you're also gonna get to see some more of Tony Todd. Uh, you know, people really love him because of his history and all the things he's worked on from Star Trek, and Andy Man, and all the war films. So, uh, uh, yeah, you're going to see a lot more of him in this coming episode as well. How much of a background do you have on Joel when you get the first script? How much did you learn? You know what? I didn't have much of anything. When I auditioned, I literally had a few paragraphs. And then once I got the role, they showed me the first episode. And from there, it was literally episode by episode. I was discovering him almost at the same rate that the fans are discovering him. You know? uh, obviously, we shoot a little bit ahead, so I got to see things before other people. But it was at episode to episode. I found out that's what we shooting. It was really cool to do it that way because it allowed me not to spoil it myself, you know, not to try to anticipate or play something. When I, when I was surprised, I was really surprised. Like not knowing? I mean, it just depends on the role. I think with this role, I felt so comfortable in who Joel is, and I feel like there was kind of a symmetry between me and the writers as far as his backstory and where he came from, that I trusted that it was going to go in a safe direction. And I felt like stimulating as an actor. Um, and yeah, it was, it was a big, big experience. Can you, talk, can you talk a little bit about the, the, uh, the relationship between Joel and Deb and what it's been like working with Elizabeth Mitchell? First of all, Elizabeth Mitchell is just such a fantastic person, such a beautiful person inside and out. Uh, she's such an amazing actress. I feel like all of my best scenes in the show are the ones that I have with her. Because she just makes you a better actor. She's so attentive and she listens so well. Um, and then just even off the set, you know, she'll do little surprises, like get little gifts for the past, or just little things all the time. So as nice as she seems to be, it's even nicer in her life. It's, uh, it's unbelievable. It's amazing. Yeah. And as far as um, Joel and Deb, you're going to see some more stuff tonight, for sure. I like that's a relationship that's surprising. People don't know why all of a sudden this came out. Well, you're going you're gonna to see some surprises. There's a pretty big revelation in your episode that I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. a little bit about it. I thought it was just happening in this movie. Yeah, yeah, it came on fast and furious. Yeah. It was like, you know, it went from zero to a hundred. Um, but, uh, like I said, in this coming up, in this episode coming up, I think a lot of things will make some more sense. Are you guys finished filming the season or are you guys episode? No, we have, uh, we're in episode nine and we have one more episode to go. Okay, what can you tell us about uh, episode five and from what you shot? I can tell you this, it gets ratcheted up almost consistently for the entire season. Um, you know, I was very impressed with the way they built each character and the way they always manage every week to come out with something that takes the whole story forward and also has a shock. I mean, at the end of my episode, they just uh, premiered it here at Comic-Con and you're going to see it on Tuesday. The entire audience screamed out loud. So, uh, so I think it's going to be uh, pretty good. I hope you don't die, because you already did it on the 100. <laughs> And, uh, I was like mad about it. <laughs> you know what, that's cool, man. I, I ran into the, uh, the cast of the hundreds and I had a little surprise for them because I had a feeling I might see them here. I went to, we had the same wardrobe people for Dead of Summer and the Hundred. We all showed up in Vancouver. And I went to her and I asked her if she'd give me my old Wells jacket. And I got my Wells jacket. It don't really fit me the way it used to because I got a little bit bigger. Uh, but I, I had my Wells jacket. I got off the elevator and they were all like, oh! <laughs> they couldn't believe it. So we did some pictures. It was fun. Amber Coney said um, the next few episodes the are going to start to get a little bit sad. Can you talk a little bit about you know, what you're talking about? Yeah, yeah. They, well, they, I wouldn't say sad so much as they get a little darker. The show gets a little darker. And, uh, you know, when it first started off, people really didn't know each other. We were just getting to camp. There was a lot of light thrills. Um, there's still some humor in it, but it gets a lot less humorous and a lot darker. I mean, I have all older brothers and sisters that are quite a bit older than me, so they, you know, they were in, living in the 80s, um, so I kind of knew some of the music from listening to the name, you know, the stuff they play, and knew how they dress from the old pictures, um, and I, I feel like 80s is one of my favorite time periods, you know, like, I really love Michael Jackson, and, you know, I love Michael Jordan, and, like, all that kind of old 80s classic stuff, so, uh, I didn't have to do too much research, but I definitely was happy that I got to do that. 
anything you're looking forward to your character exploring, like other than the honest and Joel relationship, or what else are you like? Um, or what are you excited for the fans to see? Yes, yes, I think that's a good question. Um, again, I feel like his, his, where he comes from. When you see where he comes from and what he's coming out of, I know it doesn't make sense now, but when you see the episode, you're gonna be like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad they showed me that because it, it makes everything that much more, uh, makes the stakes that much higher. In your backstory, like anything about that, like surprised you, like, oh, wow, well, I didn't know. That's everything about my yeah. backstory surprised me. Yeah. So if, if that tells you anything, it's a it's a huge shock. You're not gonna. See, I, I don't think people are gonna really see it coming what they what happens. Yeah. Thank you guys.